1440p gaming in 2025 is no joke. It's where most serious gamers are landing these days. But here's the question. Do you really need a GPU as powerful and as expensive as the RTX 4080 Super to enjoy it? Some argue it's overkill, while others say it's the ultimate experience, especially if you want ultra settings, ray tracing, and buttery smooth frame rates. So today, let's break it all down. The performance, the value, and whether the RTX 4080 Super makes sense for 1440p gamers like you. First, let's talk about what makes the RTX 4080 Super such a powerhouse. It's packed with nearly 10,000 CUDA cores, 16 gigabytes of super-fast GDDR6X memory, and full support for cutting-edge features like DLSS 3.5, frame generation, and advanced third-generation ray tracing. This card is designed with 4K gaming in mind, and even 8K for less demanding titles. Yet here we are asking if it's too much for 1440p. But the gaming landscape has changed. Today's 1440p isn't just about hitting 60 FPS anymore. It's about high refresh rates, maxed out settings, and zero compromises. And that's exactly where the RTX 4080 Super shines. Now for the big question, is the 4080 Super just too much for 1440p gaming? If you're playing competitive titles like CS2, Valorant, or Fortnite, even a mid-range GPU can push over 200 FPS at 1440p. So for games like these, yes, the RTX 4080 Super can definitely feel like overkill. And when you factor in the price, typically over $900, you could argue that something like the RTX 4070 Ti Super or AMD's RX 7900 XTX delivers better value for this resolution. That's why many gamers feel it's unnecessary horsepower for what you're getting, especially if you're aiming for 1440p at 60 to 120 FPS. Even in comment sections, you'll see it. Some folks think we should stop calling everything above 60 FPS overkill. Monitor technology has evolved. 144 Hz and 240 Hz displays are common now. So is it overkill or is our definition of overkill outdated? Here's where things get interesting. Because if you're gaming at 1440p in 2025, chances are you're not aiming for just good enough. You want the best. The 4080 Super crushes modern AAA titles at 1440p, even with ray tracing maxed out and frame generation turned on. We're talking 100, 120, even 160 plus frames per second in visually intensive games, not just esports titles. This means you can finally unlock the full potential of your 165Hz or 240Hz monitor not just in older games, but even in the most demanding modern titles. And it's not just about raw frame rates. DLSS 3.5 with frame generation brings a huge leap in smoothness and responsiveness, especially in games that traditionally struggle with ray tracing enabled. With these technologies, you're not just getting playable performance. You're getting a next-gen experience with ultra visuals and fluid frame rates, all at 1440p. That's why, for many players, the RTX 4080 Super isn't overkill at all. It's what finally unlocks 1440p's full potential. Here's something that often gets overlooked. How a powerful GPU like the 4080 Super can actually make your gaming setup quieter and cooler. Because the card is built for higher demands, it barely breaks a sweat at 1440p. That means lower fan speeds, cooler temperatures, and yes, almost silent operation during gameplay. In many games, especially those that don't fully tax the GPU, your fans might not even spin up at all. So you're not just getting top-tier performance, you're getting it without sounding like a jet engine. If you game in a small room, use open-back headphones, or just value a quiet environment, this is a major win. It's a subtle benefit, but it's part of what makes the 4080 Super feel like a premium experience, even at 1440p. So, is the RTX 4080 Super Overkill for 1440p? If you're playing lighter games, sticking to 60 Hz, or trying to save money, then yes, you could get excellent results with a 4070 Ti Super or AMD's 7900 XT. But if you want the ultimate 1440p high experience, ultra settings, full ray tracing, 165 Hz or 240 Hz gaming, buttery smooth frame generation, and a quiet system, the RTX 4080 Super checks every box. It's not just about pushing pixels, it's about having headroom and confidence that your GPU can handle anything you throw at it today and for years to come. So no, in that sense, the 4080 Super is an overkill. It's future-proofing, high-end comfort, and honestly, a lot of fun.